In this video, I wanted to cover very briefly how a capstone project works. So a capstone project is an application of what you should have learned in the trainings and exams in my lab IT. And in the trainings and exams, you were simulating that you were actually in the application, such as Word or Excel, for example. But in the capstone project, you were actually going to download files and complete the assignment in the application on your computer. And then you will upload it back into MyLab IT for grading. So if you go into MyLab IT and find the assignment that you need, I'm going to go into the Word folder and we'll just start with the first one for Chapter 5. So you have different icons for the different um, assignments. You'll see here I've had some attempts playing around with the capstone and it will tell you how many attempts you have, your last attempt, and it will tell you your highest score. It will always take the highest score out of your attempts and you have 10 attempts at these. So what you would do is this is the actual assignment for the capstone. I usually put the PDF solution files there so that you can see those and if you have a question, maybe something's not really clear in the instructions, you can go to the PDF file. Okay, so in order to start the capstone assignment, you would go here to the actual assignment link. It will open in a new window and remember you have to have your pop-ups disabled for that. And there are several steps here. The first one is to download the materials. And usually that's an instruction sheet, the file you will edit, and there might be other files such as picture files and things like that that you might have to incorporate in the assignment. So we'll come back to that in just a second. The second step is to um, preview the steps. So these are the instructions that you will actually download here. So if you did want to preview those and see what's in included in the assignment, those instructions are here but again you will download those here when you download the starting materials then you will upload your completed assignment so that's kind of a two-step process you choose the file that you want first and then tell it to upload it and then you'll submit it for grading so we'll go in and download the starting materials you can download them individually. I usually go ahead and download all of the files at one time because they're all zipped into one folder. And that way, if I do need to come back and um, access one of the files, I'll have all of them. So I will download all of those and I will download them into a folder that I will be working with. And I'm going to create a new folder here. And again, it does save it as a zipped file. So if you're not familiar with zipped files and how they work, it compresses and puts multiple files into one folder so that you don't have to download those individually. So what it's similar to if you were going on a trip, you would pack your suitcase, take it to your destination, and when you get your to your destination, you would unpack your suitcase and take your clothes out so that you would be able to use them. So it's the same concept with a zipped folder. You are putting all of those files into sort of a suitcase, and then once you're ready to use them, you have to unzip it and take those out or extract them so that you are able to use those. So I'm going to go into a folder and this is showing my zipped files right here. Okay, so I know that it's zipped. I downloaded them to this folder, right? This is a zipped file. It has a zipper on it. it. Tells me it's a compressed or a zipped file. So if you double click on that, it will show you which files are in there in the folder. And I have four here that I'm going to be working with. 
One is the instructions uh, file, then this is the one that you will edit. It's got your name at the beginning of the file, so it's one that you will edit. And then these two you will incorporate when you are editing this file. Okay, so we would need to extract this. You can also right click on the zipped file and you choose to extract all. Just make sure when you extract everything you pay attention to where you are extracting the files. Extracting again is just taking those files um, and copying them um, from the zipped folder so you have a copy outside of those. So the extraction, I'm going to tell it, I'm going to delete this. I don't want it to create another folder there. I just want it to put it in my work in progress folder. So I'm going to extract. You can choose to show those when it's complete. I won't because it opens multiple windows. So when I go into the work in progress here, I have all of my files available. Okay. So <clears throat> your instructions will tell you what to do. Okay, and we'll go over this a in a little more detail in another um, video, but those will tell you what to do and it will tell you which file that you need to open. This one is the dentist file. Okay, so I would go in, I would edit this dentist file according to those instructions. And then once I'm through, I will edit that or I will upload that back into my lab IT. Okay, so I have a, a partial file here that I want to upload into my lab IT. So I've got a couple of errors in there just so that you can see how you would create, correct those errors. Okay, so I'm going to close this window in my lab IT. I don't need to preview the steps. I've already done that. Let's say we've completed the assignment. So we're going to go here and choose my file for the assignment. And I'm going to go back into my, I'm going to upload the one. I know it has a couple of errors, okay? So I've chosen the file. Now I need to upload it. So that's a two-step process. And once it says success, you can submit for grading and you can close the assignment. Sometimes this blue button does not work, so I just go ahead and close that window, and I go back to this one in my lab IT. Now, in order to um, view your grade, it might not update it automatically here, it might take a minute. The way that you go in and, and edit is go to the context menu here, those three dots, click there, and go to view submission. And you can see I've got my multiple attempts here. So when I go in, I can click on any of these attempts to see um, how I did. But let's just click on the last one here. It will tell me what is incorrect. So I, I can filter it by the incorrect only there as well. Um, and then I can show all, so you can do either. You can also click on these to see more um, information. Okay, and it will give you partial credit for certain things. So, for example, in the text box, it says the content was not set to um, this particular text because I know I had a typo there. Um, I also did not center that in the text box. So I would go in and correct those in the document. And then I would go in to the, the same document that I uploaded. You don't have to start from scratch. Go in and correct that. And so for example, if I go in and center this, and put my L in there for health and make the corrections that it mentioned. One of the other issues was this was not the correct effect. So it should be this one according to the instructions. So if I go in and save that, then I'm going to go back in to my assignment. 
I've done these steps. All I want to do is choose my file and, have, and upload it and submit for grading again. Okay, and it might take a minute for everything to upload, but I'll go into view submission there. And now you can see that in the when I just submitted, my score is again a perfect score of 50 over 50 um, because I went in and, and corrected those errors. So that's a kind of quick overview of the capstone and sort of how that works. If you have any questions, please let me know.